Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having the zodiac sign Libra on the ninth house cusp in a natal chart. Now, the first thing I'll look at at the ninth house with Libra on, okay, the philosophy or philosophical nature. Well, this person uh, may be very equitable, very fair minded in their beliefs and uh, their philosophy. Their philosophy it may generally or strongly tied in with peace and diplomacy and uh, harmony. And they really um, may strongly emphasize having a, a good, uh, I guess, you, a good look or, or the appearance and, and the beauty and perhaps inner and outer beauty. And look at this as well. And they may... Uh, as far as their beliefs, they could be open-minded to many things, and they may uh, also be some. Some of the people with this placement may be somewhat ambivalent or apathetic regarding just uh, beliefs in general, or just their, their. I guess you could say uh, their philosophies. So they may go one way one minute, then may waver uh, another way the next. Now, the ninth house is also connected with religion, and. As far as the religious outlook goes, this could be uh, very similar. You might find uh, some people that uh, when, it's, when it comes to, if, if they are religious and they go to a church or a congregation, they, the peace may be strongly connected to the, the environment as far as going to a refined uh, church or place. As far as their religious beliefs go, these might be somewhat ambivalent. They may be open-minded to different uh, outlooks as far as this goes. And uh, it could also be something where the them, this person and the marriage partner or significant other uh, share the same religious belief and concept and may often go to the same congregation or church. And uh, this could also be, um, and church may be a place where they might form uh, prominent relationships in their life as well. Now, the ninth house is also connected with higher education. Now, as far, far as higher education goes, post high school learnings, perhaps this person uh, may go to maybe a school for fashion design, or they may study art. It could be drawing, painting. Uh, sculpting could be various art forms. It could even be acting that's connected with the arts. Something uh, connected with music. It could be anything from piano playing uh, to singing to learning, uh, the, even learning the guitar. That's still connected uh, with the arts, I believe. And the school that they choose may be one that is is refined in in a place where they can where they feel they could study uh, peacefully and in in, in not be in a place in an area where there's any kind of strife or discord or it, it, where there's a, a high crime rate etc. So anyway, another thing that is connected uh, with the ninth house is uh, long distance traveling. Now, long distance traveling, uh, this person may find perhaps their marriage partner significant other through uh, through long distance traveling whether it's voyages or whether it's taking long trips on uh, uh, by plane through expeditions it, it may may be for someone from another country or someone of a different culture they may feel uh, this could be somebody that could be like a in some isolated cases maybe like a diplomat that goes to other countries and helps with reconciliation and tries to restore peace in, in countries where there might be some strife or, or discord or animosity. Now, this could also be, as far as the long distance traveling goes again, now this could be a person that goes to places that, that really they scope it out and make sure that they are they have that peace, that they are refined uh, places and uh, where they feel that they'll be treated uh, with fairness and, and the people will be equitable uh, as far as far as in terms of how he or she may be treated and another thing associated with the uh, with the ninth house is publishing now as far as publishing goes uh, if this person ever does decide to to write or this person is involved in writing and in publishing uh, this person may write things connected perhaps with relationships, something maybe with beauty, uh, with art, something associated with refinement, 
uh, perhaps it could be somebody that writes something about about laws and statutes and uh, about uh, just about fairness it could be like an equal rights uh, maybe type book uh, just about being equitable in general uh, someone that writes about maybe things could maybe a how to draw or, or painting book for example could be another uh, possibility and another thing uh, with the ninth house the ninth house is also associated with in-laws now this could be the one's perception of the in-laws they might see their in-laws as people that are tactful diplomatic people that um, act, can act as mediators and uh, about reconciliation and a friendly amiable uh, temperament and could also indicate that in, in some isolated cases maybe these people have some ambivalent thoughts regarding uh, their in-laws or there might just be simple apathy uh, connected uh, with as far as their in-laws uh, may go maybe the in-laws have maybe one or more has some kind of artistic ability or inclination or may be interested or, or somehow connected with the law or an arbitrator negotiator perhaps in some cases well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having Libra on the ninth house cusp in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having Scorpio on the ninth house cusp in a natal chart two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well